Where's the problem? Hello, everybody, or in this case, hello, Bernardo. It's good to see you. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be uh, doing kind of like a live chat, if anybody would like to chat with me. And I'm going to be looking through 3D board games uh, today. I figured I'm going to just start categorizing them. And uh, just a lot of us, I know, love 3D board games like Fireball Island, It From the Pit, games like that. I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything that maybe we've missed. Hi, Remy. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Um, so, uh, I, one thing I've learned uh, by doing some of these interviews, there's so many games out there I've never heard of that look just awesome. So, uh, let's take a look and see what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and do a screen share here. Uh, set this up, Chrome tab, and where are you at here? Here you are. Share. Okay. Okay. There we go. Wait, I can do this. Whoop. Oh, no. Where is it? Nope, not that one either. That'll work. 
Okay. Or maybe that. Hmm, one or the other. Ah, that one should be fine. Okay. I'll go ahead and take a peek here, and then I'm going to go look through the comments as well. The Battle of Hastings. Huh, that's kind of funny because my name is Norman. My last name is Hastings. So the Norman Army won that one. So uh, that was 2007. I wonder what's 3D about it, though. Let's take a look. Uh, I guess it would be the tiles here. Uh, yeah, looks like it's just the tiles that make it 3D. I'm looking for, like, big stuff. Like, th 13 Dead End Drive, of course. Those two uh, definitely got some 3D in them uh, with the backdrops. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Heard of this game. Don't think I've ever seen it. Let's see here. Check this out, Bernardo. Let's take a look here. Well, he uses the box. Uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see what it's about here. Let's go back. Uh, race your Nautilus from start to home. Rotate the gumbos to sink an opponent. Yeah, okay. I guess it could be uh, ages 5 plus, so it's kind of like a kid's game. Looks pretty cool, though. Three Stooges. 3D Chess, I've heard of, of course. Uh, 3D Labyrinth. Uh, Labyrinth is a cool game, and I've heard of this one. I'll go take a look at it here. Oh, wow, look at that. Let me take a closer look at it here. It looks pretty cool, but it looks more like a kid's version of Labyrinth. Uh, I like the way it looks, though. Um, it'd be really cool, though, if they made a 3D version for uh, more of the adult crowd. Oop, wait a minute. Where am I? Here we go. All right, let's see here. Let's keep on looking. All right. <laughs> 3D pool. 3D pool. Check this out, guys. 3D risk. I did not even know they made a 3D risk, but look at it. This is a risk. It has different rules, but apparently they made it. Uh, they made it into a 3D game. <laughs> look at that. I don't think I would be interested in it, but it certainly looks interesting. I don't know why they would make a 3D risk. But, um, okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Agora. Here's one I looked at the other day. Air Tricks. Um, here we go. If I remember correctly, you've got this little thing that blows air, and you're trying to, uh, let's see, you're trying to blow this ball through these different obstacles. Uh, so it kind of is like a little bit like uh, Labyrinth a little bit, but only like an airborne version. Looks pretty <clears throat> cool. Uh, Aladdin, let's see, Alter, Dr. Doolittle Game. I think I might have looked at this one the other day. Let me see. Let me see. This is called Ambush. What is this? Uh, game of strategy and shooting. Get your men to the enemy gun position to win the game. Yeah, a little bit of 3D action, but then you have these guns. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Let me get here. Awful Goosebumps board game from 90s is 3D. I think I, I remember that one. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played it, but uh, I remember that they had made one. Ant Eater, let's see. Ants in the Pants I'm familiar with. I don't know how many of you guys like chess, but this one looks pretty unique. Eight boards stacked atop one another. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. This is the only picture they have of it. But look at that. <laughs> wow. I mean, chess is hard enough, but having it like be, what, 8D, I guess, <laughs> or whatever. Wow. See, here's a game called Aztec. Babel from 2002. Balaru. Hmm. Let's see here. Bandersnatch. Somebody I know probably has that game. 
here's one called Bastion. Let's see here. It's a children's game. Be the first to reach the top of the tower. Defeat the Dark Knight and rescue the Maiden. Time and step of the ladder. Move the Black Knight. All right, let's take a look here. Well, I don't know. What do you think, Bernardo? I mean, looks cute enough, uh, but eh. I mean, I like the theme, but it just looks a little bit on the simple side. Here's Batman Returns, a 3D board game. Let's see. Uh, move around, fight the play Penguin's henchmen. Hmm. Well, it looks kind of, yeah, it's got some cardboard stuff on there. Not Nothing too special. <clears throat> Let's see here. Bats in your Belfry. Uh, Battle Dome, that's a great game. That's kind of similar to Fireball that you have, Bernardo. The Battle Game. Okay, what is this? Uh... <clears throat> Maneuver your soldier to take over each other's territory. Pegs hold the soldiers in place. Massive big board. Die rolls in light of sight and determine combat results. Has landmines. Okay. Looks pretty big. Look at this. Uh, here we go. Not bad for the 60s. Uh, yeah, look at that. Like the little pigs and background's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That would be one I would try to play. I mean, for the 60s, that's not bad at all. All right, let's see. I'm just going back and forth between the comments here. Battleship Outer Space. Hmm. Bobalon. Okay. Okay. It's a 3D game board. Reach the highest point of the board with one of your pieces. This kind of reminds me of Strata 5. Let me see here. Yeah, this looks a lot like Strata 5. Uh, just a much more basic version. It's kind of unique to see these, though. Um, belly Bumper. <laughs> Where do they come up with these titles? Big Boss. This is supposedly 3D. Let's see here. Found, <clears throat> founding companies taking over smaller companies and share buying. I thought it sounded like a choir. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at it here. Oh, the board looking pretty shiny looking. It does looks a lot like a choir. And yeah, I love a choir. That's a fun game. Uh, unique looking. All right, let's see here. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm uh, just kind of looking to see if there's any, uh, what we got here. Block is 3D. That's a pretty cool game. Bob the Builder. Bobble and Bumblebees. <laughs> Boob Tube. Hmm. Let's see. Bucket of fun. That looks kind of simple. Okay, that's a recent game. I'll take a look at it. Let's see what this one's about. This is more recent. Uh, Lace Island uh, Fishing. Let's see. It's played over 14 seasons. Co coins, Operator Cube. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Interesting looking. Oh, let's see what we got here. Hey, helpful product. Good to see you. Uh, there's that weird Pac-Man 3D chomp game that plays like a glorified get the ball in the hole game. Yeah, um, I think I have that one. That's the Pac-Man, just the right, if I'm not mistaken, that's the Pac-Man that Matt and I played, uh, where you chomp and get all the marbles. It's actually pretty cool. Um, let's see. 
All right, let's see. Careful. All right, let's see here. Dexterity game. I'll say, look at that. Uh, build a bell tower, five levels high, spinning the spinner. Oh, okay. Pretty big. So it's kind of like a Jenga type game. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, Castle Crush. I'm trying to see if I can find a game that Bernardo would get. And everybody else, of course. But I, I'm looking for a Bernardo game, too. Chuckalock, Circus, Circus Boy. Okay. Cityscape. It looks like a block game. The Climbers. Okay. Let's see this one here. Looks like another block game. Let's see. Climb the highest level, rotate blocks. <clears throat> okay, another little block game. Come on, guys. Where's the Fireball Island stuff? <laughs> Clue FX is pretty cool. Fun game. Great museum caper. That's a good game. Oh, uh, let's see. Codename Sector. Columns. Let's see. I actually had this one, I think, at one time. I'll show it to you guys. Um, this is made of cardboard. It's a National Geographic game, and it kind of plays um, – I can't remember what it plays like. Um, but you're basically moving around this 3D mountain, and uh, here we go. This is what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> now, if it was like 3D plastic like Fireball Island, it would be really cool looking. It's just basically cardboard, though. It looks okay, though. We never played it. I think we ended up selling it. Conquistadors. Let's see what's 3D about this. Hypothetical. Okay, colonizing game of some kind. Okay, I guess it's the trees that make it 3D. <laughs> okay. Going back. Climbers. Hey, Wicked Fun, how are you? Jesse. Coral Islands, Cosmic Chicken. I don't see any pictures on that one. <laughs> Where do they come up with these names? Cosmic Chicken? All right, here's some pictures. It's a children's game. Dexterity, gather asteroids into your bins. Chicken begins to vibrate, randomly opening marbles. They look through and slide and sink with the openings to collect them. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Cosmic Chicken. I guess there must have been a time. Crash Tower. That's good. All right. What do we have? Build the tower. Be the only player. Doesn't make it tumble. Okay. Another Jenga type game. Looks pretty cool, though. Huh. Okay. Kind of like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Golden Girl. Look up the board game called Pinterest Golden Girl and the Guardian of the Gemstones. Okay, let's take a look at it. Uh, Guardian of the Gemstones. Here we go. Golden Girl and the Guardian of the Gemstones. Guardians are precious jewels. Gemstones are guardians strong and skillful. One of the enemies is a dragon queen. Queen. Seeks to conquer Argonia and her when you must gain the most power gems. Okay, let's see here. Definitely colorful. It's a Parker Brothers game. Oh, I have never heard of this one. I wonder if my friend Vinny has this one. He might actually have this. He has like a ton of games. I'll have to ask him. Thanks for that suggestion. Hey, Feel free to throw me any more suggestions, you guys. Uh, I'm just kind of browsing through here just to see what we got as far as the 3Ds and stuff. But if you guys have any suggestions, toss them my way. I'll be more than happy to look them up. Uh, crazy Creatures, Crazy Maze. I saw a dinosaur one here. Creeps Castle. Okay, here's a castle game. Children's Game. It's a ball-bearing game. Okay. 
go from the bottom to the top of the 3D. Player must press hard in order to release the ball. Traps will flick. The ball can fall three different ways of coming down, so flicking into different traps each time accordingly. Okay. Let's take a look at it here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Matt might like that. Uh, I know he likes games like ball bearing games like that. Let's see. Crocodile Chomp. Cube Fusion. Curse of the Outer World we're familiar with. That's a cool-looking game. Whether it's a good game, it's debatable. Uh, let's see. Dark World, awesome-looking game. Dark Over. Hmm. I wonder what this one is. Uh, game Melger Strategy Game. Players vie for control of a world steeped in psychic energy. Okay. Or it's a 3D. I guess the players sitting at the table make it 3D because I don't see much 3D here at all. Mars Attack 3D game. I used to play, um, what was it? Mars Attack, the uh, pinball game on Pinball Arcade. Love that game. Let's take a look at it here. Mars Attack. All right. The dice game, I think we have. Let me see what you said. Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Mars Attack 3D Suggestion. Okay. Let's take... Oh, 3D. Let me type that in. Okay. Mars Attack 3D. Ah, it doesn't show me one. Okay. Well, a lot of Mar... Here we go. Well, there's a miniature... Well, there's a lot of miniatures versions here. Uh, 10 minute takedown, Mars attack, Munchkin. Okay, we'll probably come back to that one. Which one was it? Curse of the Mummy's Tomb? All right, let's take a look at Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. I spell it wrong. Curse, Mummy's Tomb. All right. There we go. Cooper explores in a pyramid while trying to learn to find trail. Oh, wow, look at this one. Oh, that's nice. That is pretty. Whew. Yeah, that reminds me a lot of those reminds me a lot of voice of the mummy by the way it looks. But yeah, that's very cool looking. That is very cool looking. Nice one. Uh, Bernardo, have you have you got that one? All right, I'm gonna scroll on back. All right, back, back. Okay. Dig and play medieval quest. Dig and play treasure dimension. Dino builders. Let's see. It's a dice game with 3D dinosaurs. Okay. Beauty and the Beast. This, let's see here. Docker. Let's see. Rock the Boat. Dragon Tower. Hmm. Prince and Princess are locked up. Players are trying to free them. And here's what we look like. That's cute enough. <laughs> what was that game my wife had? She had what Don't Wake the Dragon, I think is what it was called. Here's one called Dragon Lance. Um, this is from the 80s. And let's see. You command an army of dragons in this one. And here we go. Let's take a look. The miniatures look nice. Huh, a hex board. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, my. Yeah, that game is definitely on my wish list, Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. Uh, you haven't played it? Complex. I'm just reading the comments here. Well, thanks for the suggestion, Bernardo. I'll, 
I might check that one out. Um, I do need to add some games um, over here eventually. All right, let's see here. Dungeon Dice, Dungeon Fighter, Dynamite Shack, Egg Scramble Challenge. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Electronic Detective. This one is recent. I don't know how 3D this is. Escape from Atlantis is a great game. Escape from the Haunted Mansion. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, it looks cool. Disney. All right. I think that one kind of goes for some money now, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see. Uh, there's Fireball Island. Fish bait. Let's go back to the comments here. Dragonlands. Did I pass that one? I may have passed that one already. All right. That's uh, Domination. Forbidden Bridge. Yeah, that's a fun little game. Let's see here. G.I. Joe Combat Fires. I think I looked at that one not too long ago. Let's see. Ghost Castle. Gladiator. I think I had looked at that one. That's like a fighting game of some kind. Nip Nop. Bang on your paddle switch to try to be the first to put all your balls through the hoops onto your opponent's side. Let's see. Huh. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Nip knop. I wonder if somebody it seems like somebody I knew had that game. I don't know if it was Luke or who it was. Let's see. Grabbing Dragons. What is this? The player whose dragon collects the most magical rings using the tail pulling mechanism. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That's pretty wild. Yeah, well, if you like to collect dragon games, this definitely looks like one that could be a contender. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, we're going to go through the comments here. Want to buy Survive Space Attack next? Well, I love Survive. Um, I'm going to definitely have to check that one out. UFO Alarm is a blast. Um, just going through the comments here. I'd like to try out the space one, though. That would be a kind of an, you know, I'm kind of curious how they would do that one. Green Ghost. I want to say somebody had a ghost game of some kind. I think it was Matt or Luke. Uh, uh, pretty much roll and move. Board is on stilts. Well, let's take a look at it here. Okay. Basic looking game. Who made this game? It looks like Waddington's, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, Ideal made it. Okay. Okay. Let's keep on going. Feel free to call, keep on tossing me some suggestions, y'all. Y'all's a country word here. All right. Now we're going to the Harry Potter stuff. All right, here's Haunted House. I'm sure you guys might have heard of this one. This one's expensive, uh, but beautiful looking game. Let's see here if I can find a picture of it. There it is. I think it's pretty tall, too. Uh, I think it goes for about 500 or so because it's old and rare. But um, that would be a cool one to review. But, <laughs> yeah, I ain't spending no 500 on it. All right, let's see here. Let's keep going. Hero Escape, great game. 
High Wire Harry. I might have looked at this one already. Let's see. Uh, okay, this is a balancing game. Roll a die. That's a prop play. Roll Harry down his type rope. Okay. So let me go back one pick. Is it this one? Hmm. For all that looks like an interesting game you might like. Uh, kind of reminds me of Loop and Louie, but not really. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Hong Kong. Hmm, okay. Looks like a block game. Abstract game, building skyscrapers. Okay, just blocks. Yeah. Let's see. Sheep launcher. Okay, I got to look at this one. Again, dice sheep, sheep into plastic catapults, launch tokens in the nets. Move their dragon marker, the number of points scored. Okay. Huh, that's. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like a little basketball game, only you're, I guess, flicking it. Huh. Okay. It's a pretty cool idea. If I saw that, found that game in a thrift store, I would get it. Uh, let's see. All right, let's keep on looking here. Go through the comments. Balancing clowns. Let's see, I'm just looking through the comments. Yeah. Hypergrow, okay, that's recent. Ice cream game. Uh, let's see here. Incredible Hulk 3D Rampage board game. I think one of you guys had that one. Temple Race game. It's 2008. Let's see. Uh, race to the Crystal Skull, locate on the down falling steps. Let's take a look at it here. Oh, well, it looks interesting enough. Yeah, I didn't like the Crystal Skull that much, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Stretch Arm Sam. I think I saw that one the other day, Jesse. Uh, not in a store, but. Search and destroy game. Jawbreaker. Jaws. Oh, 1975. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's see. King of the Hill. Uh, I have seen, I actually saw that one of the thrift stores. An old 3D game. There's King Oil. Let's see. Nightmare, I think I saw the other day. That actually looked like a cool game. I'll go get it. I'll look it up again here. Uh, going to Labyrinth, looking for magical treasures. Uh, let's see here. Um, if I, there was a picture of it somewhere. Well, maybe it was another game. I can't remember. Oh, okay. Kind of looks like that uh, classic dungeon game in a way. Um, yeah, it had a little 3D part on it. Let me see here. Yeah. Curious to see if any of you guys have that game. All right, let's see. Do to do. Knockout, that's a fun game. Kong Skull Island, Cuckoo Knots. Let's see. Legend of Zagor, that's on my wish list. Um, Lord of the Rings, The Duel. Okay. Uh, it's on Three Dimensional Bridge. All right, let's see what this looks like here. 
Ah, there's the bridge. Yeah. Well, interesting looking. Got good ratings from what I see. Or maybe not. 5.9, that's pretty good. Let's see. Attic Raider is putting out a lot of new cool videos. Yeah, I noticed. I'm actually working on trying to get an interview with him uh, for the uh, Giants thing. So hopefully we'll get to talk to him and uh, get to see some of his collection and get to know him some. Yeah, yeah I, that's a game I want to get one of these days. I, I have not gotten it yet. Um, uh, let's see. Lost Treasure is a fun game. Lumberjack. Let's see here. Woodcutter game, okay. Free log from the tower and build your own tower. Let's see here. Well, cute enough. <laughs> Let's see. Mage Knight Dungeons. All right. Let's see. Game of Heroic Combat. Go through the dark dungeons, battle monsters, find hidden treasures. Um, let's see here. Just pass the picture. Looks really nice, though. Uh, let's see. I kind of wonder if it's got more pieces in that. Wow. All right. Well, let's see. I'm just looking to see here. All the miniatures look really nice. Let me go back. Oh, okay. It has a. Okay, this is a game I have not heard of, y'all. So some of you guys probably have heard of it. Um, but uh, yeah, nice miniatures for sure. All right, let's see here. Yeah. You out of here, Bernardo? All right, buddy. Well, it's good seeing you. I'll go through a few more here. All right. Magic Hill. I guess this will be my last one, and I'll do another one later. Players are wizards who control five goblins. Wizards trying to be the first one to get his goblins to the top. Here's a picture. Small. Uh, looks cute, though. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. And uh, I will continue the uh, 3D board game hunting uh, on the next one. So thanks, guys. We'll see you later.